Hey there! Welcome to Power Process Electrical Engineering Tech. Today we will know how to PLC control panel wiring. First, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Wiring a programmable logic controller, PLC, control panel. Involves connecting various components, devices, and sensors to the PLC in a structured and organized manner. Here's a general guideline on how to wire a PLC control panel. Note, wiring practices can vary based on the specific PLC model, the components you're using, and local electrical codes. Always refer to the manufacturer's documentation and consult with a qualified electrician or engineer when working on electrical systems. Materials and tools needed. Programmable logic controller, PLC, Control panel enclosure, DIN rail and mounting accessories, terminal blocks and connectors, input devices, sensors, switches, etc. Output devices, relays, solenoids, etc. Power supply, wiring cables, shielded, if necessary, wire strippers, screwdrivers, crimping tools, labeling materials. Steps Plan the layout. Determine the components that need to be connected to the PLC. Arrange the components inside the control panel enclosure, keeping in mind spacing, accessibility, and cable routing. Mount the PLC. Install the PLC on the DIN rail inside the enclosure. Mount terminal blocks. Attach terminal blocks on the DIN rail for both input and output connections. Label each terminal block for clarity. Wire inputs. Connect input devices, sensors, switches, etc. to the appropriate terminal blocks. Strip the wire ends and crimp or insert them securely into the terminal blocks. Use color-coded wires for easier identification. Wire outputs. Connect output devices, relays, solenoids, etc. to the corresponding terminal blocks. Follow the same stripping and crimping process as for input wires. Power supply. Connect the power supply to the appropriate terminal block in the panel. Ensure proper voltage and current ratings are observed. PLC wiring. Connect the PLC to the terminal blocks for both inputs and outputs. Use appropriate cables, ensuring that signal integrity is maintained. Grounding. Connect the ground wires from all devices and components to a common ground terminal or bus bar. Proper grounding is essential for safety and noise reduction. Wire management. Bundle and route wires neatly to avoid confusion and to make troubleshooting easier. Use cable ties or wire clips to secure cables to the DIN rail or enclosure walls. Labeling. Label all wires, terminal blocks, and components for easy identification and maintenance. Clearly mark each wire with its purpose and destination. Testing and verification. Before closing the panel, double-check all connections to ensure they're properly secured. Power on the system and test the inputs and outputs to confirm proper functionality. Documentation Create a wiring diagram or schematic of the control panel layout for future reference. Document the connections, wire colors, and component details. Remember that safety is paramount when working with electrical systems. If you're not familiar with electrical wiring practices or the specific PLC model you're using, consider seeking assistance from a qualified professional. Thanks for watching.